Before we watch this video, I'll recommend you watch our intro to organic chemistry video and our alkane video in order to get a better understanding in this video. But if you already know what alkanes are and about organic chemistry, then let's head right in. Alkanes are unsaturated hydrocarbons. This means they do contain carbon-carbon double bonds. The functional group for alkanes would be carbon-carbon double bond. Alkanes general formula is CnH2n, which means if there was two carbon atoms in a molecule, there would be four hydrogen atoms, C2H4, which is ethene. Now let's take a look at some reactions involving alkenes. Just like alkanes, alkenes are also involved in combustion reactions. When an alkene reacts with sufficient amount of oxygen, carbon dioxide and water is produced. Here's an example equation. Similar to complete combustion, if there is limited oxygen, incomplete combustion occurs. There are similar products, but carbon dioxide is replaced by carbon monoxide or carbon soot. Here is the same reactance as before, but with limited oxygen. Another reaction involving alkane is addition reaction. Since alkanes are unsaturated, you can add an atom to the molecule without needing to remove any atoms. Here's an example. Ethene plus bromine water would produce 1,2 dibromomethane. A few things to note, the carbon-carbon double bond has been broken down to allow another two atoms. Now this molecule has turned into an alkane since there is no longer a double bond. If you are given a sample and asked to tell if it was an alkane or alkane, what would you do? Simple, test for unsaturation. Under normal room temperatures, alkanes do not react with halogens, which is why I mentioned UV light in the earlier video. But alkenes do. Add bromine water to the sample. If it turns colorless from orange, it is an alkene. If not, it is an alkane. Well, that's all for today. If you preferred it instead of a whack in the face with your textbook, then like and consider subscribing.